Hey, good morning. It is Tuesday, the 25th of August, and uh, we're missing the storm. The storm, Laura, has passed by us. It's, we had some wind, still a little windy today, um, but we didn't get the brute of the storm, and it is now headed up into the Gulf. And uh, we were concerned about those who are now have two hurricanes coming their way. Uh, so it is of concern. Hurricanes are always a concern here in Florida and uh, Puerto Rico and other countries that lay in the uh, Caribbean community. Is it Caribbean or is it Caribbean? I guess it depends on who you ask the pro proper pronunciation. I asked some from people who are from different islands there down uh, south of southeast of us. Um, and most of them say the Caribbean, but I'm not sure. Caribbean, Caribbean, I don't know. Um, it's interesting how we pronounce different words, isn't it? There was a father who was up from Indiana and he ended up down in the south for a little bit and he was staying there in, in, in Atlanta. And he said Atlanta, Atlanta. And it was different pronunciation <laughs> from different parts. Well, there's a town real close to them whose um, thing is Lafayette. And the Southern pronunciation is Lafayette. Lafayette. And it's, it's really said differently in the South. Um, so he was, uh, he was curious, he was taking his daughters and they were going back up to Indiana and they happened to go to a place where they ended up in Lafayette, Indiana. And he was like, well, I know. So they, they stopped at a Burger King. And so they stopped at the Burger King and they were going to um, ask, uh, as he was in there and they were getting their lunch, uh, the waitress came and he said, here's my chance. I'm going to have her teach my daughters how to pronounce it correctly. And so he turned around and says, could you, could you share with me, share with my daughters how to pronounce this place? Uh, as it as it's properly pronounced she said are you kidding he says no 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 I want you to do that oh okay she said Burger King <laughs> so she pronounced it <laughs> all right all right got that I remember my son when he was small they would say where are you going for lunch and we had never been in Burger King, but he'd say, Burger King, we're going to Burger King. He'd never been in Burger King, but somehow he had seen it on television or whatever. Well, no matter how you pronounce it, communication is an important thing. And the Lord communicates with us. One of my fathers, uh, and he had several, <coughs> excuse me, several <coughs> uh, Psalms that he enjoyed, but he, he put many of them to memory. And now with new translations, sometimes it kind of messes up that. But here in the first book, the first part of the psalm, the first psalm is written, and he liked this part. And I remember him repeating this to me. Blessed is the one who does not walk in the steps with the wicked or stand in the way that sinners take or sit in the company of mockers, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord and who meditates on his law day and night. Now the law was considered about the first five books, so meditating, meditating on God's word would be a way we might say it today. The laws, the prophets, the New Testament, um, all those things. Meditating on the scriptures because it gives us guidance and hope and it gives us faith. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. The importance of communication God chose. He chose to write down and reveal himself through his word. Yes, the greatest revelation was through Jesus, but he chose to write it down through the prophets over 1600 years of writing. It's amazing how that communicates to us the great truths of God, isn't it? And so the psalm says it would be well it would be well for us to meditate on his word day and night. I hope you spend time in God's word, have a chance to do that. It's a wonderful thing as God communicates to you his will through his word. He will do it if you will hold on and try and follow. All right, dear Lord, thank you for protecting 
so many people from the storm. Be with <coughs> those that were affected, Lord. And Lord is heading its way up into the Gulf. We know it's laying landfall in maybe Louisiana, Texas, part around there, New Orleans. Lord, we ask to protect the people. It may be only a cat one or cat two, but it brings a lot of water. So Lord, we ask you to protect us. Thank you. Be with our political situation, the unrest that happened last night. It stuns us all. We ask that you may help us through this time of trouble. Thank you for being near, and thank you for being able to act. We praise your name for that, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. God bless. Have a great day. We will see you tomorrow.